So Kanye West's social media antics are far from over. He's taking his shots now towards Trevor Noah and still deal Hughley. And in a recent interview, Kim Kardashian is confirming that Pete Davidson has multiple tattoos and a branding on him. Welcome back to the Campfire Daily YouTube channel where you get daily and consistent hot topics in music, entertainment, reality TV, and so much more. As always, be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on breaking news when we go live or when we upload. Just an update for those of you that are subscribed to my podcast, Campfire Radio, a new episode has just dropped. So drop everything or just make sure you save it so you can definitely check it out on your way to work or while you're cooking, whatever it may be. If you're not subscribed, subscribe to the Kempai Radio Podcast. I talk about more personal things there, things that I don't talk about anywhere else. So you don't want to miss it. As you know, we've been covering all of this Kim Kardashian and Kanye West news. Kanye is still on social media harassing Kim Kardashian and her new boyfriend, Pete Davidson. But before we get into all of that, Kim Kardashian was on the Ella DeGeneres show. Damn, that's almost over, y'all. This is the last season of Ellen. Rightfully so. Well, she was on the, the Ellen show and she was talking about her relationship with Pete Davidson. And she revealed that he has multiple tattoos. And the most recent tattoo that we saw that said Kim was actually not a tattoo. It was branding. What in the cult is going on? This is what she said. It isn't a tattoo. It's actually a branding, like a branding. Because, let me explain it. Because he wanted to do something that was really different. Because, like, okay, first tattoo he got, I was like, oh, so cute. Thank you. Oh, my God. So, you know, second, whatever. I'm like, oh, that's so cute. But, like, that's what tattoo people do, right? Like, they get tattoos of what's going on in their life. And Wait, back so up, I was like, back am up. I back up. special? You said first tattoo... <laughs> So he has three tattoos of you? Uh, well, it sounds know. like this is like the third. <laughs> so the first tattoo was, you said, kind of cute. So yeah. is it uh, your name or is it like a little? The branding is my name. Right. The yeah. other ones are like cutesy things. I think my favorite one, it says here, it says my girl is a lawyer. And that one's really cute. Wow. Yeah. That's amazing. That one's really cute. My girlfriend is a lawyer. If you've been following my reports on all of this Kardashian situation, I've been telling you, Kim Kardashian and Pete Davidson's relationship, I don't believe in it. I don't. But I definitely do not believe in Kanye West harassing Kim Kardashian on social media. The last time we reported on this, I let you know that Kim Kardashian was in his comment section calling him out for lying about her keeping him from the kids. She was like, stop with this narrative. You were just here this morning picking the kids up for school. Well, as you also know, I reported on a back and forth that's been happening between D.L. Hughley and Kanye. I'm not going to get into the details. If you want to see what D.L. is saying to Kanye, at this point, these people are clout chasing just to get their names out there. Um, that's how I feel at this point, because some of the things that D.L. is saying, although I agreed with what D.L. said in the Vlad interview about Kanye's behavior on social media. Now, because he's a comedian, he's making all these kinds of jokes. And I don't play when it comes to Kanye's mental health. Speaking of comedians, Trevor Noah, as you know, The Daily Show with Trevor Noah, he's talking more about how problematic Kanye's behavior on social media is. He took to his show to talk about his own experience with his mom being abused by his dad and what that looks like and how people's disdain for the Kardashians and Kim Kardashian specifically has sort of desensitized them to what Kanye is doing and how problematic and dangerous what Kanye is doing. So he says this. I know everyone thinks it's a big marketing stunt. Oh, look at the coincidence. Kim is launching a new show. Except Two things can be true. Kim likes publicity. Kim is also being harassed. Those things can be happening at the same time. Because I'll be honest with you, what I see from this situation, I see a woman who wants to live her life without being harassed by an ex-boyfriend or an ex-husband or an ex-anything. You may not feel sorry for Kim, you know, because she's rich and famous, because of the way she dresses, because she appropriates black culture, because she tells women they're lazy, because she broke the internet and then didn't put it back together, whatever, you hate her, whatever. But, but, what she's going through is terrifying to watch, and it shines a spotlight on what so many women go through when they choose to leave. You know, people always say that phrase to women. They go like, why didn't you leave? 
oh, why didn't you leave? Why didn't you leave? Yeah, because a lot of women, women realize when they do leave, the guy will get even crazier. And when I say crazy, I don't mean mental health crazy. I'm like, it's, you, you understand what I mean. You know what I mean. The point is that Kim Kardashian and countless other women, they find themselves in a terrible position, you know? Because asking Kanye to stop clearly isn't helping. But at the same time, he hasn't broken any laws, you know? So can she get him arrested? No, I don't think so. Would she even want to? I mean, you know, she spends half her time helping black people come out of jail. So now she can't be throwing Kanye West in. It's a bit of a paradox. But still, she's being harassed. And I get it, society's like, ha ha, you deserve it, this is funny, this is that. And I get it also from Kanye's side, in like the parts of Kanye, there's, there's parts I understand. I understand Kanye saying, I don't want my daughter on TikTok. I get, I, I agree with that part of what he's saying. I'm not involved in other people's relationships though. You know, I think that's a separate issue. What we're seeing though is, one of the most powerful, one of the richest women in the world, unable to get her ex to stop texting her, to stop chasing after her, to stop harassing her. Just think about that for a moment. Think about how powerful Kim Kardashian is and she can't get that to happen. I grew up my whole life in an abusive household, right? Most of my life, let's say from the age of nine to whatever, 16. One of the things I found most interesting was how often people told my mom that she was overreacting. What I found interesting was how many times people told my mom to calm down, people told my family to calm down, everyone, you know? And everyone had different reasons. Oh, I remember once we went to the police station and they said to my mom, oh, but did you talk back? Is that, is that why you're here? You know, uh, you know, oh, but, but what did you say to him? It's all these questions, it's all these questions. I remember seeing this as a child, by the way. You see this as a child, you know? And you see a world where women are questioned for what is happening to them as opposed to people questioning what is happening to them. Sidebar, Trevor Noah. <laughs> Just when I couldn't love Trevor Noah anymore because he makes me laugh, I think he's cute, but he's also really smart. And we've talked about this. You know we cover the stories here and yes, we have a key key in between, but we have always pointed out the serious nature of what Kanye is doing on social media specifically when it comes to Kim Kardashian. Kim Kardashian, one of the richest women in the world, still can't get away from her now ex-husband harassing her on social media. And there are people in his comments, yes, Kanye, what you're saying is okay, Kanye. Despite how you feel about Kim Kardashian, we always have to remember, and one of my favorite quotes from Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. is that an injustice anywhere is a threat to justice everywhere. So although we may feel a certain way about the Kardashians and their be behavior and their manipulation of the media, we can't forget that this behavior, if we accept it here, it will become, we will become desensitized, desensitized to when it's happening to ourselves, when it's happening to your mom, when it's happening to your sister. We can't. And one of the ways that we can do that is not necessarily tuning Kanye out because that's not going to stop Kanye. It's holding these platforms accountable for when someone's being harassed on social media. Because as I said to you before, if it was you or me, we would have been banned. But because it's Kanye and because he is a billionaire, they continue to allow it. As always, guys, I wanted to continue the conversation below because you guys are, we have some of the smartest community and open-minded and open-hearted community ever. Let's continue the conversation below. What are some solutions that you think that we as a people and also these social media platforms should be doing with this Kanye situation? And Trevor Noah, call me. No, I'm joking. I'm he's 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 not a part of our our group. No matter how many I no matter how, how many nights I pray about it. No, I'm joking. I'm not. I'm not desperate. But look, if you ever want, no, Trevor, I'm sorry. How do we go from the serious nature to this? Because that's what we do here. Guys, as always, be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on breaking news when we go live or when we upload. Thanks for watching.